Today we're going to look at how to introduce a slider into your simulation and how you can use it to alter global variables. So the first thing we're going to do is build an easy four-click model. It's a really simple model so we can demonstrate how the sliders work. And you can go on to use them within more complex models. Sliders work using global variables, so we need to set some up. What we can do is by going to the Data and Rules tab, choose the Information Store, and under Create New Global Variable, we can go to Create a Time Variable. We're going to use the naming convention GBL for global, and we're going to call the variable time because we're going to use the slider in this example to control our timing. The next thing we need to do is set the timing of our work center to rely on this global variable. If we select the work center and then choose the button to the right of the timing box, we can then select GBL time from a list of our objects in the simulation. The timing of our work center is now set to GBL time. We have not set a value for GBL time yet, but we're going to go on and do so. We can set a fixed distribution so that there's no randomness in this particular example. The next thing we need to do is to go on and add a slider onto the screen. And we can do this by picking the Insert tab and clicking on Slider. If we then click on the screen, we place the slider on the screen. The properties of the slider now need to be set. We can choose which global variable it pays attention to within our simulation. We want to use GBL time, which is the one we've just set up. And then we can go on to choose the minimum and maximum values that the slider has. So we will use a minimum of one and a maximum of 100. And this is all you need to set in order to give your slider some properties. Okay, so we've set a global variable and we have set a slider, which enables us to change the value of that global variable. Sliders are most often used as a method of changing values in your simulation while it is running in order to see the effects that it has. We are now going to step through our simulation with our slider set to the highest value, which is 100. This means that the work center one should take 100 minutes to process each work item. If we go to the home tab, and step through our simulation, we can see that a queue is building up because a work center can only process one item at a time. When we run this, we can see a huge bottleneck building up over the week. If we reset our simulation and run it again, we can drag our slider to the other end so that it only takes one minute to process each work item. We can see right away that there is no queue and work items are moving quickly through the work center. However, if we drag the slider back up, it will start to take 100 minutes again or a value in between if we don't drag it all the way. So you can easily control the length of time a work center takes as you progress through your simulation.